Hello guys, welcome to my new Changing Impact video. Guys, in this video, we are going to talk about the Hootaws build. Hootaws is an act on-field active main DPS. You can't Huta use Hooto as support or sub DPS. Hooto is not meant to be support or sub DPS. Hooto is full on-field active main DPS character. So we are going to talk about her main DPS build i'm gonna uh, show you with every possible problem that i have with the death match black lift track bay that's uh dragon bane karen crossfire staff of homa and any other weapon like this also missile wind spare so i'm gonna compare huto with each and every possible f2p friendly also weapons and we're gonna uh, check with the crimson witch and the shimanawa 4p set and will conclude that which weapon and which artifact set is best on Huta. My Huta have no constellation and triple crown. So we're going to compare Huta with a proper team and we're going to talk up in detail about the build of Huta. So let's go. Okay guys, so first of all, let's start with the uh, basics. Huta is properly made, uh, properly built on HP. So more you more HP you give to your Huta, the more she's gonna deal the damage you can also see here one of her passive abilities when Hutos HP is equal to or less than 50% her pyro damage bonus increase by 33% and her all elemental skill and elemental burst and elemental skill is scaled on on Hutos max HP you can see when you deploy the Hutos elemental skill you'll gain attack increase uh, on the ba multiply on the basis of Hutos max HP so the higher the HP is the higher the damage Hutos is gonna deal so first of all keep in mind the, who, the HP gonna be very important when you're building Hutos and then of course this strat the credited and crit damage gonna be the another important thing and the third important thing is gonna be the elemental mastery the four strats you are looking for in the artifacts the substrat and the main strats are the HP percentage crit rate and crit damage and the elemental mastery these are the four strats you're gonna look into the you're gonna find and look into the artifacts that you need these four strats hp percentage elemental mastery crit rate and crit damage so first of all let's start with the weapons straight with the weapons what are the weapons option that you have that you can give to your who tau First is the Staff of Oma. Staff of Oma is the signature weapon of Huta and you can actually hit over one leg with one charge attack with Huta if you have Staff of Oma and well built artifacts. The next weapon that you can give to Huta is the Dragon ba Dragon's Bane. Dragon's Bane hands down the best weapon after the Staff of Oma. Doesn't matter your ratios but hands down this weapon is the way way better than any other f2p or four sharp weapon this weapon gives a 221 elemental mastery as i already told you elemental mastery is going to be very important when you're building hu tau hu tau only deals deals in vaporized damage so hu tau deals vaporized damage and hu tau's all damage is based on the vaporized damage so when you're dealing the reaction damage you're going to need the high elemental mastery this weapon provide frickingly 221 elemental mastery and also the elemental skill is amazing increase damage against the opponent affected by pyro by 24 percent guys 24 percent and this weapon is only on r2 if you get to the r5 you can easily get uh, up to 30 percent pyro damage bonus from here it's it's like a pyro damage bonus it's kind of like a pyro damage bonus so this weapon is gonna be amazing next uh, uh, options are the black lift pole and the death match of course and one more option is the kyron crossfire the same reason that this weapon gives her 110 elemental mastery but a little 100 over base attack here the other options gonna be missive wind spare we'll see that if this weapons work or not on hu tau and uh, so these are the weapon option that you can give to your hu tau and now let's talk about the artifact sets guys here so in flower we have hp and we have no other uh, option the feather is the attack and the sand is gonna be the hp percentage 
you don't have any other option the hp percentage is going to be the only only option here now comes to the goblet goblet we have pyro damage bonus we have elemental mastery and the hp percentages but in my opinion the pyro damage bonus is going to be the only option here in the goblet you gave your huta only only pyro damage bonus here nothing One, else five, and now six, comes to the circlet circlet crit rate and crit damage gonna be the only options here and now guys in the sub strategy as i already told you you gonna need hp percentage so here you can see i have me i'm having 11 percent hp here and the 11 crit rate and attack is all always welcome and also you have to find the elemental mastery here i'm adding 40 elemental mastery here i'm adding 47 elemental mastery here i'm having 5.8 percent uh, hp percentage here i'm having another 54 elemental mastery so uh, with no elemental mastery weapon my hoot was having 140 elemental mastery here and the one more thing guys if you're using crimson witch of flames then you're gonna need uh, elemental mastery and then you, the elemental mastery is very important if you're using any other artifact set piece on huta then uh, elemental mastery is not gonna be the uh, problem if you have zero elemental mastery and you're using uh, any other artifact sets than the crimson witch then you don't need any elemental mastery here but if you have Crimson Witch of Flames here, the Elemental Mastery is going to be very, very important. You have to have a over 100 Elemental Mastery at least. The other artifact set that you can give to your Huta is the Shimanawa 4-piece set. Shimanawa 4-piece is also good. It increases your Huta's charge attack damage by 50%. And we all know that Huta deals maximum amount of damage in her charge attack. So charge attack is going to be the main main attacking element here and this shimano four piece increases 50 percent of the charge attack but in my opinion crimson which is the perfect perfect artifact set for huta you will deal higher damage in crimson which compared to the shimano four piece but yes you can give shimano four piece to your huta no problem Oh yeah, guys, so let's talk now. Let's talk about the teams that what teams that you can use uh, Huta with. Okay, so as uh, we all know that Huta, uh, we play Huta on very less HP, like on 20 to 30 percent HP, because Huta gives higher amount of damage when he goes below 50 percent HP. So uh, we play Huta on around 10 to 20 percent damage HP for maximum damage. In that case, Huta gonna need a shield here. So my pick for the shield is gonna be the Zhongli. But if you don't have uh, Zhongli, you can use Diona. Uh, you can use Leila here. Leila is also a very good shielder. You can use Diona, but to but make sure never use Diona's ultimate with Huta. Like never use Diona ultimate with Huta because Huta hates healing. If you heal your Huta, your hot Huta damage gonna deplete. Your Huta's gonna uh, damage gonna fall. So never use Diona or any other healer with. Uh, Huta, but you can use Diona as only as shielder that Diona provide a good shield and Layla is going to be a, another, another option in terms of the shield. Uh, but if you have Zhongli, so my uh, pick is going to be the Zhongli. Zhongli is the perfect shielder for Hu Tao. And then you can use, uh, you have to use a Shinkyu or Yelan here. Shinkyu and Yelan, one Hydro character, my recommendation is the Shinkyu or Yelan here. No other, like Shinkyu, Yelan is the only two option that you can go for on the uh, Hydro uh, um, hydro position that because Huto needs a one proper dedicated hydro support character for the vaporized damage for the vaporized reaction and you can also use Mona here Mona ultimate just multiplies Huto damage to the max and you can easily give 70 to 80k in one charge attack with any F2P weapon with Mona and Huto combination so we are using two hydro here for the hydro resonance and you can get 25 percent extra extra hp here and we all know that higher the hp on huta the higher she's gonna deal the damage but you can definitely replace mona with another character like you can replace mona with albedo albedo elemental skill gives 125 
125 elemental mastery. So uh, uh, as I already told you, Huta is based on the reaction damage that's called the vaporized reaction. And if you give your Huta uh, some amount of elemental mastery, definitely your Huta is going to deal amazing, amazing amount of damage. So you can you go, you can either go with this team where two hydro resonance gives you extra HP or you can go with this team where you can still uh, 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 deal vaporized damage and you can get 125% extra elemental mastery from albedo or you can go with or you can go with a shangling why shangling because shangling c6 in increases your pyro damage bonus let me just show you if we go and check pyro shangling here for the duration of pyro nade all party member receive a 15 percent pyro damage bonus 15 percent pyro damage bonus uh when you when shangling ultimate deploys and shangling ultimate stays for 10 seconds that's a pretty much pretty long and that's perfect duration for hu tau and you can get 15 percent pyro damage bonus here so you can also So you can also go with team like this and if you use two pyro you will get extra 25 percent attack that's also good for any sub dps dps character in the game the higher the attack punch is there the higher the character is gonna be of dealing the damage in the field on the field so this is the one team that you can go with uh Uta, uh, the second team is gonna be the two hydro character one shinku Ye or yelen and the next one is mona or you can go with the team like this and definitely you can also replace shang li here with a character like diona Layla, or any good shielder if you don't want to use any shielder here you think that uh, you can survive without a shield i recommend you to go with go with Kazuha because Kazuha also increases your elemental damage and Kazuha will increase your pyro damage bonus here or you can also go with any other character maybe 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 maybe, maybe. like Sucro. Sucro also gives you elemental mastery you can also uh, uh, go with uh, Sucro. but I'll always recommend shield when you're playing Hu Tao <coughs> This is the team going to be for Huta. This is a different team that you can try and you can uh, see which teams suited you best and dealing the maximum damage.
Okay guys, thank you for watching the video. This is the all weapon that you can give to your Hutor. Deathmatch and Blacklift doesn't having any difference. They both are very similar weapons. The only difference they are having is the crit rate and the crit damage. Uh, besides that, they are the same weapons. And guys, this is the all weapon. Blacklift, Deathmatch, Kaiden Cross Pair, Missive Wind Spear, Dragon's Bane and the Staff of the Scar Staff of H Homa. These are the all, all options that you can give to your Hoot Hoot Tau. One more option is the Primordial Jade. Uh, Wing Spear is the uh, next option that you can give to your Hoot Tau. Beside that, in the game, I don't think uh, any weapon beside these weapon uh, are good for Hoot Tau. And uh, number one weapon is going to be the Staff of Homa. Number two weapon is going to be the uh, Dragon's Band. Number third weapon is going to be the Missive Wind Spear. And number fourth weapon is going to be the either the Deathmatch or the Black Cliff Pole. These are my picks for the weapons and the artifacts that you can give to your Hoot Tau is the Crimson Witch or the Shimanawa 4 piece. So, so thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you like the video. If you do, please like the uh, hit the like button and share this video with your friends and guys subscribe my channel for more changing related or gaming related channel in the future content in the future so till then guys bye bye take care we'll meet in the next video bye bye